Alright, let us take a look at how to set up the environment to start using the ant tool. First of all, search for this term, download ant in Google and then you'll be getting all these results. Click on the first link and make sure that the site name is apache.org. So this explains that ant tool is actually provided by Apache Foundation. Ant is also an open source, so you can download the source code if you wish. So now all we have to do is to download the zip file depending on your version preference. Obviously you'd like to pick the top one which is the latest version. I've already downloaded the zip file and I've extracted it in one of the folders. In my case it's in E drive and this is how the extracted files would look like. You can extract them anywhere you wish but one thing that you need to make sure is to copy this path and then you go to Windows Enrollment Variables by hitting the Windows key and search for Environment Variables, hit enter, click on this button and make sure that you add this particular variable with the name and underscore home. It has to be exact same name including the case and add your home directory of ant here click OK and in addition to that it would always be better to add the path variable as well because ant is a command line tool and we want to run the ant commands from any directory in the command line so it's always better that you add this path variable which actually points to the bin directory of the ant home directory just as we did here I've already done that I don't have to do it again and this is the bin directory that I'm talking about where you'll have all the scripts and this is the main script here the ant script this is what we're going to use throughout our course and apart from all these scripts we also got set of libraries and this is where the actual functionality of all the tasks that we're going to execute will reside we're going to talk about it in our next video though also you need to make sure that you add java home and round variable because as I've just mentioned all these libraries will be run only when you have the java environment set if you're able to run java programs in your computer then chances are that you've already set these environment variables like java home, jdk home, jre home etc if you haven't done so, please go ahead and add these enrolled variables as well. Java Home points to the JDK Home directory and make sure that the name is exact same Java underscore home. It's very crucial. And also make sure that you add the JRE Home and it points to the JRE directory just as you see here. Ideally, Java Home will suffice but it would always be good to add this as well. Alright, I think uh, that's all there is to it. Now in order to make sure that we are able to use the AND tool, open the Windows command processor by hitting Windows R and then CMD that would give you this Windows command processor. Just type in AND hyphen version and this should show us the version of the AND that we've just installed. Just as you see it here so this means that things are in good shape and we're good to go. Alright, see you in my next video.